today we're going to be changing out the halogen bulbs in these projector based headlights on this new Range Rover Evoque with the Morimoto Elite HID system. So the first thing we're going to want to do is take a look at all of the different components that come with the kit. The first thing is bulbs. In this case we're using a 9005 bulb, 5000K, it's going to be a pure white. Um, the second thing is the ballast, which are the power supplies for the HID bulbs. Uh, these put out 35 watts, there's also a 55 watt option. Uh, so in this case, we're using the 3.5. Along with the ballast, you have mounting brackets, uh, some hardware to mount those. And then as far as the wiring goes, there's two different options that we offer. The first is the heavy-duty relay, which is this one. Second one is the standalone CAN bus. Uh, today, we're going to be using the standalone CAN bus because we have to cancel the lamp out warning that would exist otherwise. And the very last thing that comes with any kit is a test lead, which is basically just a pigtail with two bare ends on it. Uh, this you don't actually use in the installation. It's uh, only used if you need to troubleshoot anything. Uh, you'll plug it into the ballast and then you can provide direct power through the car battery. We'll move forward uh, with the installation. Uh, we're going to have to take the headlights off of the vehicle in this case. Not always the case, um, but we're going to remove them anyways just for demonstration purposes so you can see a little bit better what's going on um, on the backside. Once you've got the headlights off the car, you'll find that the back of the housing is either sealed up like this with a plastic cap or the bulb is easily accessible just on the back of the headlight, more like this one. In this case, the back of the housing is sealed with a plastic cap, so to get access to the inside where the original socket is right here, generally speaking, you're going to have to drill a 7 8 inch hole into the back of this cap so that you can pass through these cables from the bulb and reseal it with this rubber cap in the middle here. Generally speaking, all of the components like the ballast and the wiring go outside of the headlight shell, but in this case we actually have room inside, so we're going to put them in there. Um, with that, we're actually not going to drill a hole in this as we usually would, um, but we're going to plug everything directly in. So first start by removing the original halogen light bulb from the power pigtail that powers it. Uh, we'll plug that directly into the standalone canvas harness like that and then directly into the ballast from there to provide power. Uh, from there, we're going to install the light bulb in there, and the outputs from the ballast will go directly to the inputs on the bulb. Since we're not going to make use of this cable on the bulb, we're actually just going to remove it since it's going to take up extra room. Just cut off the end, pull this through, that's gone. Before you put the bulb into the housing, you'll want to make sure to clean it with the provided alcohol pads. Just make sure to clean off the glass so there's no contaminants on there. Make sure it's perfectly clean. And then you can rotate the bulb into the housing. 